This morning we are reading Adam's Monster by Susanna Lee. That's me! And it was written for Adam and Jeremy before a four-year-old boy who was having nightmares. And this helped. Wham! The window blew open. Adam woke up in fright. A storm wind filled his ears. The moon was hiding. And a humongous furry green monster was staring at him. It's going to eat me, cried Atom. Bravely, Atom stood up. He took careful aim. Kapow, the monster fell. Oh, look at those hairy feet. Big, too, almost as big as Atom. The monster's arm was flung against the bedroom door, blocking it. Atom couldn't budge it. He could not open the door. He could not get out. What do I do now? Adam wondered aloud. Do you want my help? Asked a strange gravelly voice. Adam looked up to see a troll sitting on his dresser. The troll didn't look as though it ate little boys. Yes, please, Adam nodded. Well then, said the troll, I will call a friend. The troll blew two long notes on his pipe. The sound seemed to call in the wind. See the leaves coming in the window? Red oak leaves, it must be fall. A moment later, a dragon nearly filled the room. The dragon opened its mouth wide, wide. Bits of flame dribbled down its chin. Atom dived under the covers. You aren't safe there, laughed the troll. The trick is to make friends with the dragon. Atom lifted the quilt just a little and peeked out. The dragon's scales shimmered in the moonlight. Its wings opened wide until they bumped the walls and rainbows spilled everywhere. This dragon is beautiful, whispered Atom. Atom took a deep breath. He looked into the dragon's fierce red eyes. Dragon, whispered Atom. You are so big, so powerful, and so beautiful. Will you help me? Adam explained his problem to the dragon. Do you remember what the, tra what the problem was? It was that monster blocking the door. You can see there in the picture. The monster's pretty dead because there's that kitten sitting right on top of the monster. The dragon's eyes changed. They became soft and blue. The dragon turned to lick a spot of dust off its wing. And then the dragon picked up the monster in one huge claw, became as small as a dragonfly, and flew out the window, carrying the monster with him. The monster became small too, didn't it? Well done, said the strange troll. It takes courage to love a dragon, but it works. Adam closed the window. Atom climbed into bed, pulled the covers up to his chin, and snuggled down. Can you, he wondered, love a monster too? The moon sang, the wind was quiet, and Atom slept. The end.